Hey traders, today I want to share with you an amazing short squeeze trade that we took today in the chat room and on the live stream. Now, SPI was a stock that spiked up hard on a reverse stock split, sending price skyrocketing from the low 10 cent range all the way up to over $2.60. These types of moves on low float stocks are known to get traded right back down to where that breakout was initiated. If you saw my last video, four day trading strategies for beginners, you'll know that we recognized this bearish triangle pattern right off the bat. As buyers and sellers battled it out in this price consolidation, the selling volume was overwhelming for the buyers. They were getting shot down every time price attempted to go higher. Using auction market theory and order flow analysis, we sold right into the buyer weakness, adding in our full position size at volume confirmation of a break. You can see that volume down here at the bottom of the page. This was a textbook play that I teach traders how to take every day in the live trading stream. From there, it was all about position management, being able to know, okay, what are the big areas? What are the big washes that price is likely to create a reversal from? What are the likely areas that price is going to reverse? Sell a piece into that and then plan out the trade with the rest of your position. You have to get your position size to a point where you're comfortable holding all the way till the end of the day. Why? Because I took the majority of my position off on the way down here and I banged my profits for the day in that move. But I had bet enough from the beginning that I was able to leave a significant sum for the rest of the day. And as price began to come back up, testing these low volume nodes and high volume nodes, and as our volume analysis showed confirmation that buyers were beginning to lose steam, it gave us more confidence to continue holding all the way back down. This trade I took when I saw that there was seller failure for the first time in this entire move. I want to teach you how to identify those. Come join us in the live room. I share my screen with you every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Anyway, here's a playback of how this trade panned out in the live stream from earlier this morning. SPI. Broke some previous highs there, some major high levels. Nice mover there for the most part. Where's that buying volume? Non-existent. And under VWAP, this thing's gonna snap hard. Here we go. <laughs> and sellers coming in to push this thing on SPI lower. I need to have more of a pullback here to get involved. I'm not just going to uh, sell at random pullbacks. Yeah, I would need to see a little bit more of a pattern here before trading this one. Nice stock though, nice pop up in this. Under two, in, I am in, I am in, I am in. Let's go. Oh, only got filled a bit of, for that. So I'm going to wait for this to uh, go up a little bit more. Short positions increasing at 205. All right, here it comes. Nice. That's what we were looking for. That's what we were looking for. Covering a piece there. And the rest I'm going to be holding there. Beautiful. It took quite a few shots to get that, but my God, was it worth it. Now my position is 192. 
That was a key moment there though, that break of the trend line, volume, buying volume coming in and automatically getting stuffed, insta-stuffed. So now what I'm holding for is basically this unwind. And I want to hold 92 as long as I can. All right, so quick analysis here of SPI, really textbook. Distributions of volume, the main distribution of volume, and the secondary distribution. The first distribution here, price got underneath the HVN and broke below, moving fairly quickly across the low volume area. Remember, it's unfair value, so price moving, either reject it like it did here and swing all the way back up or accept it print through it, the market would want to spend the least amount of time at these LVNs as possible. And they'll come back down, they'll find another balance point, break under that HVN, and then once again, snap off into a lower volume area. They didn't find another place to add balance. So they reacted off of a low volume area. And price is now swinging back up. So what we want to see is a test of 169. And then we would come back down, likely create another distribution of volume, maybe centered around this point of control here. Um, and then hopefully snap back down and create yet another distribution down here near the $1 mark. Hey traders, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button as well as subscribe for more content. Now, if you want to watch me trade live every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time, Join us in our live community at ActiveTraders.chat, the private network for active day traders. See you at ActiveTraders.chat.